What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So, my part finally came in. So I had to get refunded for the other one that I had ordered. So it's been about two weeks. So two weeks without no AC. Really haven't been driving the Mustang. So finally, 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 finally. We can go ahead and get the old part off. Get this new one installed. So I'm gonna show y'all how to install this $22 part. You know, if you look online, he's roughly around 55, 60. Uh, I've seen him on Amazon for 29, 22, uh, Rock Auto. I can keep naming a whole bunch of sites. So uh, what we're gonna do is first thing first, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and let's jump into this. So get y'all over by the car so I can show you what we gotta do to get in there and take the whole part off. You need to remove this coolant tank. So get your handy handy gun. Need to or want to you know, put some uh, gloves on, you know. Alright. So it is I'm gonna pause it right quick so I can show you so I can get down in there and show you how I'm gonna take this off. Alright? All right, guys, now that we got the coolant reservoir out the way, as you can see, clutch, all melted. So, we're gonna get that. So we'll try to get the gun up in there. See if we can manage to get it in there because it's in a little tight spot. So, we're good. Gonna be a little, a little tough. So probably gonna have to do this by hand. What how hard that's gonna be. That's it. That's what I can see. see one one in there okay let me get this one prepped for you guys and I 
you back with you. All right, we back. So let's go ahead and get this installed. So I know y'all don't like these long, long videos. So let's get this back in here. Try to do this with one hand. Like I said, you didn't have to, don't have to remove the belt or the compressor. All right. Now, this is the most challenging part because I had to do it off camera. So, I have to do the same thing. All right, part is installed. What I had to do is, I have to bite down right here and hold this because this wants to spin when you tighten it up that 10 bolt so once you get it all back tight then you're able to put your reservoir back on and what we're gonna do is we're gonna test it out right quick so AC is working go outside the car and make sure that the clutch is engaged but I can hear it clicking place the AC compression clutch so if you have this problem on your 2011 you know I don't know if the 2011 compressors are the same through the uh, like the 15 through 22 23 s550s but uh, you don't have to spend a lot on buying a compressor you know you, like I said you can pick this up on Amazon uh, eBay Artisan carriers, O'Reilly carriers, but they're a lot more expensive. So, just for this piece, set as you spending 60 bucks for the clutch, the pulley, and then you gotta take the belt off. But, you know, whatever you gotta do to get the job done, depending on how more in, you know, as far as your concern or AC, you know, if the compressor just went all the way out and, and your clutch is still good, then maybe you need a compressor. But if you need something like this, where it just melted, you know, I've seen this multiple times. I have done this for a couple of my clients already. And this is a cheap, inexpensive part to repair on your vehicle. If you have a Mustang, this is, only towards Mustang owners. So, appreciate y'all watching the channel, watching this video to the end. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna make another video. And I'm gonna go drive this. So this won't be, POV won't be in this video, It'll be in another video. So y'all go watch that and Stay tuned for the next video. And if you haven't vote, voted, go vote. Y'all want to see more track videos? Or do you want me to teach my daughter how to drive the 5 boat? So right now, votes are up on teaching my daughter how to drive the 5 boat. So hey, go put your vote in. Yeah, you. Yeah. You go put your vote in. But uh Appreciate y'all watching. Subscribe, like this video, and we out.